Revenge films. I think it's terrifying to put pictures of people online. Even when I was a student, there was no line, and Twitter started becoming a boom when I was in middle school. Not many students had cell phones at the time, but you could say anyone who did also had Twitter. It was that popular. Around then, there was this toxic guy who would always follow me around. People knew my phone number so that they could contact me about something for club activities, but this guy would spam call until his parents got home and would raid the school too. There were also instances where he would annoyingly ask other students, could you go fetch Abby? When I would go straight to cram school for pre-exam studies. It would be such a nuisance that the teachers would call our school. Apparently, he voyeured me so much with his phone and would post me, name included, on Twitter. But I didn't have a phone myself, so I never knew about this at all. Some friends would sometimes tell me, you're being voyeured, but I didn't know what that meant back then, and I thought I was mistaken for someone else. In the end, I graduated middle school without any problems and went on with my education. Then I became an adult and got together with a certain man. I'd wanted to get married from when I was a little girl, so we gave our all in the relationship, expecting it to end in marriage. Of course, he wanted to get married too, and one day we went to greet his parents. His father was away on a business trip when we did, so I could only meet his mother that day, but together, we spilled our feelings about getting married. Later on, I got contacted by his mother, who said, When I looked up your name online, I found so many photos of you, even pornographic ones. I was so surprised at this, and so terrified. His mother sent me some of these photos, and every single one of them were of me when I was in middle school. The pornographic photos turned out to be something like collages. My face was superimposed on some women doing unmentionable things. It seemed he wasn't using Twitter anymore, but I knew then these were the images that Dimwit took back in middle school. My boyfriend's mother mentioned that I was in the newspaper for something, and that we talked about it when we went to see her, so she searched for me out of curiosity. Seeing those tweets, his parents told him, We want you to break up with her. Even if you stay together, we can't give you our blessing. And also, unbeknownst to him, she told me over the phone. She apparently went on tracing the history of those tweets of me, and she found comments and stories that boasted about his crimes. Punching another student at school, stealing someone's bike, shoplifting... There was even a tweet of him in high school, with a photo, stating that he stole a motorcycle and got away from the cops. And she saw all that! Plus, he would state that I'm his girl in his tweets, and all this evidence led to my boyfriend's parents no longer sure whether I was involved with this meathead or not. There was a woman in some of his tweets about his crimes, and she had long, straight black hair, like me. There were photos of them doing it, too, and I was told I'd look exactly like her. Of course, I told her. This isn't me! I swear to you, this is someone else! and that there was this toxic guy stalking me back in middle school, and also that a few friends had told me that he was sneaking pictures of me. But she wouldn't have any of it, saying, What you're wearing now is nothing but an attempt at covering up the bitch you are. I was shell-shocked. Although they were his parents, I retorted, saying that the fact they chose to believe photos of a whore doing the unspeakable with a toxic guy they never met over the very real woman who stood in their own house. It became a complete mess. Not to mention, she had the audacity to keep that call a secret from her son, saying that if he knew, he would retaliate against them and call them the bad guys. She told me to break the relationship off. According to her, he's her wonderful, darling firstborn son, and any relationship with the cheap whore that I am would hurt him and would cause her lots of anguish. I spat back. I've never once done anything pornographic, or anything else you accuse me of doing. My high school was one whose goal was to get its students into good universities, and it had strict school regulations. If I'd done anything you say I did, there's no way I would get a letter of recommendation from my school, and I'd get a letter of exile instead. If you don't believe me, hire a detective or something, and investigate thoroughly, if you please. She asked me to keep this transaction a secret from her son, but if I went and called off the wedding, obviously he'd ask me why. 
And there was no goddamn way I was gonna let myself be made a fool out of. So I spilled everything onto my fiancé. As you would expect, he exploded. When we went to meet them, my parents told him what kind of girl I was when I was younger. So the darling quickly understood that the whole thing was ridiculous. He was furious over the fact that his parents refused to believe the words of a woman who would become their daughter-in-law, as was I. He told me he would talk it over with them later, so I was waiting patiently. Then, we made the shocking discovery that his mother also harbored unbelievable toxicity. According to relatives on her side, his mother, who was saying all of these awful things about me, we found out that she also stole vehicles and shoplifted in the past, and was often in a kerfuffle with the cops. My fiancé completely lost it, and yelled, Talking shit about Abby? Who do you think you are with that past of yours? You committed more crimes than she ever will in a thousand lifetimes! She isn't that kind of person! That's all in the past now. That has nothing to do with all this. And she did crimes far worse than I ever did. She has that beauty queen slut face after all. So I forbid you from marrying that devious bitch dripping with crime. His entire family was in shock at her words. My fiancé claimed he's breaking ties with her right then and there. He then carried his heavy spirit back to me and said, I'm so sorry for all this negativity giving you such a hard time. I'm fed up with my mother, the pot who called the kettle black, and harassed you about ridiculous things. I broke ties with her, so you won't be getting any negativity anymore. We're not going to see her again. He was on his knees, begging for forgiveness. He apologized from the bottom of his heart about not noticing his mother saying nasty things about me at all, and was ashamed of himself. I hated his mother now but I couldn't help but love him so much for choosing my side without any hesitation. I was later contacted by his father, who said, My wife gave you such a miserable few weeks, even though you did nothing wrong. I know this won't fix everything, but I'd like to offer my deepest apologies. I'm so sorry. Like my son says, it's completely up to you if you want to break tides with us. My one and only hope is that you can be happy together. Before hanging up, he told me he was going to think about what to do about his wife. Later, with my fiancé's suggestions, I decided to track down that turkey and make him pay well for all the atrocious things he did. I filed to an investigation company. It took no time to find him. We mounted all the evidence of his voyeuring me in the past, and of all the harm it's caused now, and reported him to the police. I didn't want to see his ugly face, and I didn't want everything to get complicated, so every transaction went through our lawyers. He apparently fought back, saying that it's stupid to get back at him for a few things he did in the past. But like hell that could defend him, and after a proper investigation of his actions, he was arrested. Of course, a lot of harm came to me because he posted all those photos on Twitter, so the compensation I demanded was quite the burden. After the matter was closed and dealt with, my fiancé and I got married. By the way, afterwards, I kept in contact with his father, who treated me so very kindly following the events, and he divorced that woman, it seems. He told his wife time and again. Apologize to that young girl! Do you realize the enormity of what you've done?! But she argued, I was thinking about our son, and I tried my hardest to make him leave that bitch, but she freaking blabbed! What a goddamn whore! She showed no remorse in what she did. Even after everything, she still shut her eyes to her own faults and went on talking smack about me. All of the nagging drove his love for her into the ground, and he just left. That woman is currently struggling to keep afloat, working day and night to provide just enough for her to push by. Me and my husband both wanted to cut ties with her, so we still sometimes meet with his father for some time together. I'd nearly lost the one who would become my husband of events from 10 years ago, but he and his father saved the day. So I'm not going to let go of our happiness together. And I'm going to treasure it forever. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.